tell me a sound that's better than this. On July 11th, a young astronomer named Matthew Hopkins stood at the podium at the UK National Astronomy Meeting. He had an answer that was about to stun everybody. The room was packed with fellow astronomers who were all very eager to know more about this bizarre cosmic visitor. And he was about to present his team's analysis of this visitor, which now officially had a name, 3 I Atlas the third interstellar object. Hopkins clicked to his first slide, which showed the trajectory of the three I atlas through our solar system. Nothing about this was strange because it just showed an arc that would bring it close to the sun and then fling it back out to space. Then came the next one though, and this one showed the object's path, not through our solar system, but through the entire galaxy. And now things are getting interesting. As it turns out, Hopkins and his entire team didn't trace the object's path backwards. They traced it way back and accounted for all the gravitational pull of stars and even the rotation of the galaxy itself. This object was not moving in the same plane as most stars. It was coming from what astronomers call the thick disk of the Milky Way. It's actually different from where our own sun lives. We're in the thin disk where most of the younger stars are all rotating around the galaxy in a relatively flat plane, but this one, the thick disk, is much older. It's said to be populated by ancient stars that formed when the galaxy was young. Hopkins clicked to the next slide and presented a number to his audience that was sure to change everything. 10 billion years. The room was stunned with Hopkins going on to explain that based on the object's trajectory, velocity, and its apparent origin in the thick disk, they estimated it to be about 10 billion years old, maybe older than that, which would make this object possibly the oldest comet ever observed in our entire history. 